Peace YouTube, P31 TV here coming to you today is Saturday, April 13th, 2013. I have a very good friend who's having a birthday today. So happy birthday, girl. I will see you soon. It's about 5.30 a.m. And I'm coming to you with the, um, the first, in a, which is going to be part of a series of videos called Fitness Files. So this is uh, the topic of today's video is how, how do I balance uh, my life with um, making time to work out. So just to give you a background, what is my life? Um, joyfully married to a wonderful husband. We have two small children. Um, I work outside my home. We also own our own business. We volunteer in church. I'm a daughter. I'm an aunt. I'm a sister. I'm a friend. You know, we have. I have all these different roles, as I'm sure you do too, which is why you're probably watching the video. So let's get to it. Um, these, this, these are just a couple of things that I do um, to make sure that I'm able to fit it all in without feeling overwhelmed. Um, one time, y'all mentioned it's 5 something in the morning and it's Saturday. During the weekday, I normally wake up about 3.50. Yes, 3.50. That's just the time I normally work out, 3.50. By the time I actually get moving, it's more like 4 or 5. And I work out while everyone else is asleep, so I'm not missing anything. No one needs anything. I'm not neglecting anybody. You know, everyone's um, still sleeping. So I work out early in the morning. If I do miss a workout, um, I will work out later in the evening. So, but I'm a morning person, so that works for me. Um, location. I'm not a member of a gym anymore. I used to be a member of a gym. Um, it just became too much with the commute. The 15 minutes I spent getting there, the 15 minutes I spent getting back. Well, I can do a workout DVD at home. Um, so I've, over the time, developed kind of my home gym equipment. We have um, the push-up, kind of the thing that helps do the push-ups this way, and it turns. We have a perfect sit-up machine. I'm going to show you my weights now. I've got a kettlebell, 10 pound kettlebell. Um, I've got 5 pound hand weights, 8 pound hand weights, and it's a set, so I have two, and then a 12 pounds. So I use those um, in conjunction with my workout videos if they pop the weights. Uh, today I just finished Jillian Michaels. Ripped in 30, week two, and today was day one. So I just finished that. So today I used the eight pound weights. Um, what was that? So oh, I also have a mat because in the cardio, I don't want to tear up my knee. Um, I hope you can see that it's kind of, it's colorful. They're colorful on one side and then they're um, gray on the other side. I've gotten all this stuff from anywhere from Sam's Club. I know I got the mat from Sam's Club. I got the I don't know where my husband bought the kettlebell from. Uh, maybe like Academy, Big Sporting Goods, Target, Walmart, places like that. You can you can get hand weights in the Sporting Goods section for a reasonable amount. I think, um, of course, the the more the weight, the, the more it costs. But the smaller, the five pounds, I think I might have paid like it was almost like a dollar a pound, roughly, is what you might end up paying for your weights roughly. Uh, so like a dollar a pound and some change. Um, Ask for help. I know this is very hard for women who are running households and doing everything. It's like, uh, you know, I help everyone else, but ask for help. Um, my husband and I, we don't have family in the area, so we rely on each other for a lot. We are blessed to have wonderful, wonderful, wonderful friends. Um, but I ask my husband for help. If I do miss a morning workout, if I just couldn't make it up that morning, then I will work out in the evening, and, you know, at that time, he'll make sure that if there's juice that needs, Juice cups need to be refilled, or you know, we're potty training our younger child right now. So, if um, you know all that stuff, he, he just handles it. He does a great job of it, and that gives me that time to work out. Um, also, I schedule working out. I treat it just like I was something for my child: a dentist appointment, doctor's appointment, parent-teacher conference, um, what have you. I schedule a hair appointment. I schedule this time, so it's time that I set aside. Um, because I'm worth it, and my family's worth it, and I've, um, I've heard people say, uh, if mama's not happy, no one's happy, and a uh, happy wife is a happy life, and there's, there's, there's a lot of truth in those statements, because I'm a better fill-in-the-blank role for all the other areas of my life when I've had the time to work out on my own, so those are my tips, these are, these are things that I do, I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a therapist, I'm not anything like that, um, you know, exercise at your own risk, caution, you know, consult with your physician prior to beginning any exercise program, um, you know, all the good liability stuff, um, th these, these are just my tips and tricks, so just to kind of recap, one, um, find a time that works for you, I've also worked out during my lunch break, um, two, 
a location for me, the gym just doesn't work uh, because, again, of the time issue, the time factor. Um, and I kind of have some notes up here, so I won't ramble. Um, ask for help. I know that, again, it can be hard, but ask for help. Um, you know, maybe you can trade off with a friend. I know a, um, a girl, she and her friend are both runners, but each of them has three kids. So they run in series. Like one watches the six kids while the other one goes for a run, and then the, you know, they come back and they switch. So, but it works because six kids is a lot of kids. Um, so but that's how they, they work it out, and I think it's cute. And then schedule it and make it a priority. Make it an event just like any other thing you would schedule in your life. Um, and like, like I said, specifically things for your children, because we always remember things for our children, but sometimes we forget our, our, you know, ourselves. So I make the time for you because you're important. Of your family is important and family is working. My goal is to live until I'm 120 in good health and my own personal dignity. By that I mean I don't want to be wearing a diaper. Um, and so I feel that exercising is a good um, investment in my mental, physical, emotional health. Um, and also that of my family. So I hope I said something in this video that was helpful to you. I'm sorry for the lighting. This is just how my playroom lighting is. I might try to um, add a light in here or something. But let me know. Give me some feedback on this video. What do you think? Um, you know, what are some tips and tricks that you have um, used to help you to balance um, all your different hats in life? You guys have a day as beautiful as you are. I'm about to hit the shower. So take care. Bye.